today's free virtual yoga class. So hopefully you guys just saw uh, some of the preview of the class night. If you did not see the preview that I posted on Facebook Live and also on Instagram, today's class is all about yoga for perseverance. So we are going to be featuring doTERRA's Motivate Oil. Okay, I'm holding it right here. And one thing I wanted to share with you guys real quick about Motivate Oil, because I know a lot of you guys now are enrolled, you're buying material, you're getting 25% off. I'm just going to be super real with you guys about it. Um, this is um, the, it's like the doTERRA Motivate Touch. It's like a roller ball. And it's a, the awesome oil, but it has a little bit of fraction of coconut oil in there, so they dilute it out slightly. They also have, I was just telling the girls here, the True Beauties, they also have just the normal bottle. So I made a post on Instagram today talking about this. If I were you, when you purchase it, I would purchase the bottle. I actually ran out of it, um, and I purchased the touch version to save some money. And I'm just going to be super honest with you guys, I don't like it as much. I like the bottle better. I feel like this does not last as long. It's not bad. I don't want to diss it. Um, it's designed for people who maybe like kids or people with sensitive skin. That's why it's diluted out. I just personally feel like I get even stronger results when I do um, the Motivate bottle itself. So just a little tidbit for those of you that are either getting into doTERRA or you've been using it for a long time. Um, for those of you who are brand new to my channel or brand new to this, um, welcome. We do weekly yoga classes here, True Beauty Movement, just like my shirt says. It's all about being, you know, balance, be true, be you. It's all about being yourself and really being an inner and outer beauty. I'm really big on that. We all want to look and feel our best. You know, we all love things like makeup and hair and fashion. I know I do. Um, I know a lot of you guys that I connect with, we love that. But it's all about being an inner beauty too and being confident. People that are confident, no matter what they look like on the outside, they're the most beautiful people in the world because they're confident in who they are. So it doesn't matter if you're black, if you're white, what ethnicity you are, if you are, you know, slim, if, you, if you're overweight, if you have long hair, short hair, dark hair, light hair, I don't care what it is, you are a true beauty if you are confident in who you are or you're constantly seeking, you know, self-improvement to better yourself. So welcome. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Make sure to follow, okay? So today, you guys, I really want you to tune into what does not come naturally to you? So we were just talking a little bit outside about this. Um, I was really inspired by this because I'm not a morning person at all. As much as I'm into working out and nutrition and all these fun things we talk about, um, a lot of people that tend to be into that stuff are like, the people who wake up at four in the morning and they're like, oh yeah, like I just ran like you know 10 miles and I'm like this and that. That is like so not who I am, it's not even funny. I'm like the person who stays up till two in the morning, like looking at my Instagram, like messaging people and like you know watching movies too late or whatever. I am so not a morning person. So that does not come naturally to me. I have to kind of force my butt to get out of bed and kind of do these things and um, you know make goals you know a reality, right? And um, what I've really found is I'm doing a 30 day challenge to get my booty out of bed like an hour and a half earlier and take walks in nature because I'm a busy mommy um, and I have a lot more on my plate as a mommy, which I love doing. But as we all know, you mommies out there, we tend to put ourselves in the back burner. So by waking up earlier, I'm taking that, ta that time for that self care, right? So as I'm doing it each day, and you guys can follow me on Instagram and see the progress, I'm building my self confidence and really getting these little universe winks and things like that because I'm being persistent. I want to really, you know, encourage you guys. I know certain things are coming to you right now, you know, as you're thinking about this. So be thinking about what comes to you naturally, but what does not come to you naturally. That's what I want you to focus on. So what goal do you have that isn't natural, okay? So when you're persistent, throw on your motivate oil, okay? Hopefully the bottle, not the touch, but that's cool if you have a touch. <laughs> and, uh, and really just, you know, be, be persistent. A lot of people do not, they almost like underestimate um, how powerful just repeating the same steps are as you're learning your swagger, okay? Um, one thing I'm just going to share real quick before we jump into class is I'm wearing a swimsuit underneath here. My daughter's learning to swim. Last week was really rough, okay? Today, we just finished the swim lessons before I came to class to teach, and we're seeing huge progress. It's because we're practicing. Even though she hates it and she's crying, it's really symbolic of what a lot of us true beauties go through. We're maybe not crying, but sometimes we are, right? <laughs> sometimes we have that happen and we move through things. So I want you to really challenge yourself. We do 21-day challenges, 30-day challenges, whatever your challenge is. But my, my message to you is make sure you have a reward that you are going to give yourself at the end of your challenge. I don't care if it's a day, a week, 21 days, six months, whatever it is. Give yourself a little pit stop to pat yourself on the back and really celebrate those small wins, okay? So that is my little soapbox today. And, um, you know, I'm really, um, really excited to 
share with you guys because as I learn things myself, I like to share those lessons with you guys because I feel like we're all you know, connected for a reason and um, nobody has all the answers, okay? So um, be thinking about that as we put on our oils. I'm gonna walk around to the true beauties in class. If you do have Motivate Oil, go ahead and put that on, okay? And I'm just gonna be putting this in a circular motion because I do have the roller ball on their wrist, you guys, and then you can go ahead and just blend it. And you can just blend it onto the shoulders. Definitely place this on the shoulders, temples, and specifically the intuition between the brows, okay? I made that post on Instagram talking about the power that's for our focus. So Motivate Oil is really good for, of course, motivation. It's also very good for um, mental focus, lifting your mood, increasing your energy levels. Okay, so I feel really energetic today because I've been rocking this all day long. Okay, so just put on as much as you need to. And just start to get more in the moment here. If you don't have Motivate Oil, you guys, and you have the oils already, I know I've been connected with a lot of you guys doing wellness consults and kind of you know guiding you, what I would suggest is try wild orange oil with mixed with peppermint oil. Okay, because this has tangerine oil, peppermint oil, and um, melissa oil, and some other ones in there. Um, but the you can kind of mix a citrus and a peppermint at home. Um, and as I always, look at the details below because I offer you guys a free wild orange if you do a wellness consult with me with some other details. Okay, so go ahead and just stretch up, you guys. Reach towards the stars. And just start to hold the belly in so we're really engaging. Okay, look at that tangerine oil that's in Motivate. We're engaging our creativity, moving into our happiness level. So just start to stretch it out. Notice any blocks. And even it feels tight here. And just try to breathe through that. Any tight space. And start to create circles here at the waist. This is a nice little ab workout, okay? So again, we're moving into summertime, so we're doing a little bit of an ab workout here. And you start to kind of tilt the tailbone a little bit more exaggerating. Yes, we're kind of just moving into circles, but we're actually working the abdominal muscles. If you have back pain, this really helps to release back pain from sitting at your desk all day. I'll kind of sit to the side just so you can see the way I'm rolling this. So we're rolling in a circular motion, kind of tilting out, tilting under with the tailbone. So start to mirror your breath with your movement. So as we move up in yoga, we always inhale. Lift the chin. As we go down in yoga, we always exhale. So inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale, opposite side or opposite circles. Make sure you do have your belly button to the spine, you guys. You want to make sure that you're creating an ab workout here. So that physical beauty along with that mental, social, spiritual, emotional beauty. So start to reach towards the stars. So we're creating that yin yang here. We have the right hand on top, the left hand underneath. Reach up, stretch out, and exhale. Start to bring our hands behind us. Start to stretch and just kind of lift the chin up here. So let yourself be comfortable. Just pay attention to the wrist. We have the thumbs, okay, to the very edge of the mat. And of course, they can come wider, that's fine. If this is painful or at all or anything like that, okay? And then slowly start to inhale. So lift the hips up a little bit here. We're opening all over our psoas area. So our psoas, you guys, that's a really, really important area to keep stretched and keep open. When it tightens up, it can create and lead to anxiety in the body and depression and things like that. So when we keep it open, it really helps to open up different areas in our life. So notice where it's at, our root chakra, our self-confidence. So inhale, lift, start to lift the chin, and exhale, lower down, belly button to the spine, okay? So really tight abs here, inhale, lift, lift through the heart, and exhale. See so if you can bend your elbows just a little bit here, okay? Inhale, lift, straighten the elbows. Exhale, nice and supported. So start to incorporate the chin. So inhale, lift through the throat chakra. Communication and exhale, reflect. Inhale, lift. Exhale, reflect. Inhale, lift. And exhale, reflect. So go ahead and move directly onto your back here, okay? And we're going to have our pinkies now at the very edge of the mat. They look great. Go ahead and flex the feet. Okay, so we want to really, really kind of put a lot of our weight on our heels, okay? 
So what we're doing is flex all through the quads. It's going to be great for slimming the thighs. It's really great for also slimming the outer hip area. Okay, pinkies to the edge of the mat. Inhale, lift. So we're pressing through all four corners of the hand. We have the pinky all the way to the very edge of the mat. And then lift all the way up. So really stretch through the shoulders as much as you can. And then you can try to lift the chin. Pause and slowly, very slowly, exhale down. Start to relax the thighs. You can relax the feet a little bit here. Very nice. And inhale, lift, lift the chin. And exhale. So see if you can challenge yourself a little bit more. Try to just float here, okay? So move back and forth. And inhale, lift. Exhale down, but we're not coming all the way down. If possible, when you take a rest, that's just fine. Inhale, lift. We're following our heart here, and exhale all the way down. So slowly come all the way, all the way onto our back like we're doing Shavasana, okay? And just start to put the hands all behind the neck, behind the kind of base of the head. Roll the head back and forth. Make sure you're mirroring your breath, flexing the feet. Very nice, nice adjustment there, guys. If anything feels tight, and slowly so bring the, the hands all the way back. So we're going back to that posture. We're just going to pause as we lift. So we're focusing our weight on the heels. Okay, this is really good, you guys, for self-discipline and focus. Okay, so think of that motivate oil. So hands nice and wide, lifting up here. We're going to move that left foot to the center of the mat so we have a little bit more stability. So from kind of here to there, okay? Very nice. So lift now and kind of just rest your right heel, okay? Kind of like almost at the base of the big toe. Hold the belly in, lift the chin, and inhale, lift the foot up towards the sky as high as you can. You got this. Very nice. Exhale. Inhale, lift. Only three times, you got this. Exhale, flex the foot. Inhale, lift. And exhale, excellent job. Pause. And right into the opposite side. So now we have, you might have a little, little space in your mat. You can see where my heel was, it was pressing down so hard. So you can put the same, the right foot there, okay? Now we're starting to, so remember we lift up first. Then kind of relax, this is down the left heel, relaxing at the base of the big toe. Inhale, lift, flexing the feet, belly button the spine, exhale. Inhale, lift, find your focus, find your drishti, exhale. Inhale, lift, and exhale all the way up. Keep those elbows a break. It's doing great. And exhale, that's tough, right? That's tough work, you guys are doing awesome. Stretch it out. And just pause. So we're going to bring our hands to heart center. Again, give those elbows a break. You can relax the feet. And just reflect here on your gratitude. So anything in your life that you're grateful for, this could be relationships, this could be anything in the you know in your home or the physical world, this could be sort of mental happiness. Anything that's working for you. So take that gratitude just a step further so whatever's working for you, think of something in your life that you've been working towards or working hard towards. It could be anything at all. And just give gratitude for the progress that you've made and whatever that goal is. Remember, even if it's just an awareness, if you've been opening up to just making a change in your life, that is still a level of up-leveling. You're opening up your consciousness to something you need to change in your life, okay? So flex the feet, feet are together. So 
So remember here to find your focus. You can say universe, God, higher self. You can fill in the blank there. I'm so happy and grateful for. And then fill in whatever your gratitude is. So notice if it was one thing that came to you for your gratitude, or if it was two things. If you had two things or more come to you, that's awesome. Congratulations just for really some of these things that you're making progress for in your life. That's really awesome. You should be proud of that. So we're going to lift up our foot. So remember here, I'm grabbing onto my toes. You can grab onto your thigh area here. This is my left hand grabbing onto the right thigh, okay? So it could be the thigh. We always avoid our knee in yoga. It could be the calf muscle area or full expression. We're bringing our toes kind of to the, the base here, almost like where the inner wrist area is, okay? So lift it up, make sure we're flexing both feet. Mm -hmm. Very nice, you guys. And then we're reaching towards the stars here. So a little twist here. We want to do a little bit of a twist, a little bit of a detox in the heart chakra. This is good for any blocks, any self-sabotaging that you have going on. It's in the heart chakra. Reach up towards the stars. Deep breath here, deep exhales. So as we're reaching towards the stars here, define your intention. So what is it that you want to pursue? What is it that you want to persevere and make your reality? So really define this here. What repeated motion, repeated steps can you do to make progress here? So remember to define it, universe, God, higher self, please, I want, and fill in the blank there. Make sure you keep it really specific, you guys, to manifest, and really like a sentence. You don't want it to be that long. Okay, deep inhale, keep twisting. Beautiful, you guys. Exhale. Now that you've defined that, again, notice that it was one or two that came to you or more, and opposite side here. So wherever that hand lands is the right hand. It could be right here. We have it in the very inside of the inner wrist. It could be the calf muscle or the shin area, or it could be that left thigh. Okay, avoid the knee. So start by lifting wherever you're at and then twisting up towards the stars. Deep exhale. Belly button to the spine, twisting as deeply as you can here. So find your focus. I know this can be a lot. That foot can come down at any time, and you can just twist up. We're twisting and opening all through the heart and through the root chakra here. What this does is we exhale, this meets at the middle, which is really twisting through our creativity and our fulfillment. Okay, so the line is to move through different things, different blocks. So move onto our knees here, and then just be aware of the toes here. We're going to start to tuck the toes under, press all the way back to down dog. You have a shirt on like I do, you can tuck in your shirt. Whatever feels good here, and just start to stretch it out. So down dog, you want to have a lot of freedom in down dog, whatever feels the best for you. Walk your dog, move the feet all around. You can make it a little, little teeny down dog here and just stretch it out, stretch all through the thighs, through the hamstrings. You can make it nice and open. Whatever feels good. So start to close your eyes, start to reflect a bit here. So we're lowering the chin just slightly. Just sink into the shoulders. So I want you to imagine your back. Imagine your chakras here from the root chakra 
all the way up the spine to the very top of the head, to the back of the neck. So try to create that perfect line here as though you're balancing all your chakras. So you want your spine to be nice and flat. A straight line. And just exhale, relax into Adho Mukha Savasana, downward facing dog. Just reflect here on anything that comes to you. So this may be something that has to do with the intention of the class, with motivation, with perseverance. You may have something else that's coming to you. Just be open to it. Sometimes when we self-sabotage a little bit, there's some underlying root causes that we're not really aware of. So just be open. Let that come to you. What emotions come up here? Notice certain people, certain places, memories that come up for you here. Notice how it makes you feel. Does it make you feel happy? Does it make you feel sad? Does it make you feel melancholy? And we're going to slowly start to bring the feet a little bit closer here as we stretch it out. So stretch all through the hamstrings. Start to bend the knees a little bit here. Stay to the hip flexors as we open up through our self-confidence, through our sense of stability. So this really goes into what we can control in our lives, what we can create. As you open up through the hips, this is really important for our motivation. So we're going to lift up. This is going to be the right foot, you guys. We're flexing the foot. And just make sure, sometimes what I see here is everyone will kind of put all their weight on their left hip. Try to bring your weight slightly back so that we're really putting some weight here on that right arm, okay? So we're not just kind of all on one side. This creates balance all through the core. So we're flexing the foot. And just find your focus here. So inhale slowly, knee comes in, okay? Holding the belly under the spine. You guys do a great. And exhale all the way back, okay? Inhale. And exhale, find your flow here. Think of the ocean, right? So inhale, ebb and flow of life. Exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Find your flow. Repeated motion over and over again. Perseverance equals progress. Sometimes we make things too complicated. Repeated motion. So when we tend to make things too complicated, that's when we tend to get in our own way. So just allow the simplicity of that repeated action, okay? Very symbolic here for progress. And exhale, that right foot's going to come down, okay, opposite side. So guys, ladies, this is going to lift the booties up. We're going to have tight, a tight booty tomorrow, okay, when you wake up. So just be aware, okay, definitely tightening up there in the glutes. So stretch it out. You want to stretch too after class or when you get home. So we're bringing the foot all the way back, okay. Find your confidence here. Find your swagger as you start to feel really steady. And then inhale so that knee comes forward. Doing great. Exhale, find your ebb and flow. Find your rhythm, repeat. Great breathing, you guys, very nice. Exhale, that foot comes down. Okay, so start to come on your, uh, your little fingertips here. We want to make sure those wrists are not pulling out too much here. And let's actually give the wrists a little bit of a break. Let's bring our knees all the way down. We're going to go to child's posture, so we're going to have the knees as wide as the mat. Okay, and then start to exhale. You can go even do this as you go down, you guys. 
You can start to just kind of stretch a little bit here through the wrist, whatever feels good. Or you can connect here. I would kind of create a little Hershey's kiss, okay? Looks like a little Hershey's kiss to me since I love, <laughs> since I love sugar and I love desserts. So here, actually I love hugs better than kisses. <laughs> so, uh, um, so what we're gonna do, no, the, the, the white chocolate. So we have here, our thumbs connect, our index fingers connect, and exhale, lower down. So for those of you at home, remember, if this is too much to go all the way down the mat, you can always grab a pillow, a blanket, anything like that to make you a little bit higher up, okay? And just breathe, deep exhale. To make sure those arms don't get too tight, go ahead and bring your hands behind you. You can rest them on kind of like the lower back area, okay? And you can grab like a couple different things here. You can just kind of grab the opposite hand, almost like you're shaking your own hand, okay? You can grab your opposite wrist. I like to take my right hand and grab my left wrist, okay? Or you can intertwine the fingers and just start to stretch up here. So we're bringing, we're doing two opposites. Heart towards the ground, grounding ourselves, and hands, how we reach other people, okay, connecting to the sky, towards the highest version of ourself. So grounding the heart here, and yet connecting with others in a much deeper, more authentic way, reaching up. You have the fingers intertwined, then go ahead and try to bring those wrists as close together as you possibly can as you lift even higher. So while we're focusing on the arms here, we're actually opening up huge through the hips for our self-confidence. So if you want to take this a little bit further, okay, this is the final expression of this posture here, we're twisting a little bit here. So notice we go from here, okay, to here. It doesn't matter what you're grabbing onto, we're just doing a subtle twist all through the heart chakra and all through the core, okay? So reaching up and twist and opposite side. Sometimes people get cracks in their backs here, that's very normal. And all the way up. So see if you can really use, and use the leverage we've created here, the, the openness through our hip area. Try to use your core, try to use your hip strength here as we lift all the way up. Very nice. You just went exactly where we're going with this. Makes it reminds me of like Peter Pan or something. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> so here, this actually helps with self-confidence. So think of that bergamot wheel, right? So that self-confidence here. And go ahead and just kind of bring the ear to the, so the right ear to the right side, left. Again, sometimes you get pops here. And reach up towards the stars, deep stretch, just like where we began in class. Reach all the way back, a little back bend here. Deep inhales. So this posture helps to energize our heart, energize our spirit, okay? It helps to increase energy levels. Really, really good for those of you who feel a little fatigued or a little not, not very inspired. This is going to be really good. Help you connect. Notice if there's any tightness in your chest here, anything that when you're breathing, if you notice that little glitch at all, notice what chakra that is in. A lot of people get this somewhere in their heart chakra, their chest, okay? So just be open here. Where can you make yourself more real, more vulnerable? Where can you connect a little bit more? And exhale. Lower the hands down so we have the hands in prayer position here. Okay, and start to think about what progress are you making 
mixed with what progress do you want to make? So we're going to merge the two, okay? So think of your gratitude when we very first started, you guys. That, that gratitude, you've already noticed progress, plus where you want to go, what action needs to happen there, what repeated action, okay? That's the key. It has to be repeated. So really dig deep here. What is that repeated action? Remember, simplicity is key. We tend to overcomplicate this. So once you've defined what that is, okay, moving to that perseverance, now we know what action needs to happen. This helps us to manifest. Bring down that Hershey's kiss or that hug, whatever you prefer, okay, all the way down, and then make sure you have it in the center of your mat. Look at this, is kind of like your heart chakra, right? So we're connecting to our heart space. Start to tuck the toes, press all the way back to downward facing dog. Now you guys can walk or you can jump. If you jump, we're going to find our focus or our drifty right in the center of that Hershey's kiss, okay? So find your focus, and we're not going to necessarily land there, but right in front of there. So bending the knees, inhale, and hop all the way up, okay? If you're practicing, you can just kind of take little baby steps to do a little, little minor hop, okay? Hold the belly in when you do that, and half forward fold. We have the feet together, and just kind of release through the back, okay? So release all through the low back. Exhale, come all the way down. So Chin towards the sternum, forward fold here. So with the feet together, it throws off your balance a little bit. That's a good thing. Okay, so, so to bring our weight forward, find your inner equilibrium here. Shoulders back. And before we start to end class here, I want to actually end a little differently than normal, okay? So we're going to move into Shavasana after we do a sun salutation. So I really want us to end energized, but not worn out. Okay, so inhale, reaching up towards the sky. Make this a great sun salutation. So we're going to start with Tadasana, okay? Let's make sure we're nice and stable. So if you need to adjust anything, okay, go ahead and do that now. And we're going to have the feet as wide as the hips, all right? Awesome, guys. So feet as wide as the hips. We have the hands nice and wide, shoulders back. So remember with the Tadasana. We don't have our chest out like this, right? We have our shoulders in line with our ears. That's the secret. We're not too vulnerable. We're not protecting ourselves. We're right there, authentic in who we are, okay? So shoulders back, lower the gaze. Inhale, lift. So notice here, my shoulders are not up like this. Shoulders down the spine. Micro bend in the knees. Tilt the tailbone slightly, belly button to the spine. And exhale, swan dive all the way down. Flat back, hands behind the calf muscles, and deep inhale. As we move into Ardha Uttanasana, half forward fold, gazing between the heels, stretch through the hamstrings, and exhale. Try to flatten your hands exactly where they are. You can always adjust as needed, okay? And bring them a little bit forward just because I can feel they weren't right below my shoulders. So that's what we want to head into. Wrists below the shoulders, so we're really working on kind of perfecting our postures here, okay? Connecting the highest version of who we are. Heels to the back of the mat. Bend those elbows nice and strong. Exhale, lower down, all the way down. Beautiful, you guys. And inhale, cobra, all the way up. Elbows are nice and tight, beautiful. And just widen the heels just a little bit more. There you go. Elbows in and exhale, connect to your intuition. Relax the glutes. Tuck the toes, keep those elbows in nice and tight, use those arm muscles, press all the way back, downward facing dog. Tucking your shirt if needed. <laughs> My shirt just wanted to pop up tonight, that's cool with me. Okay, let's just be showing off the belly, and then start to press the shoulders back. And then remember, walk step or jump. If you jump, you're going to energize yourself a little bit more, okay? So then half forward full. So notice here, full circle here, repeated motion, exhale all the way down. Inhale, move for a swan dive all the way up. And exhale, we're actually bring our hands in front of the heart. Beautiful, you guys. So let's go ahead and do one more of those. So think of repeated motion, a little bit faster though, okay? So inhale, lift, shoulders down the spine. Exhale. Inhale, half forward fold. 
Exhale, plant the hands, stepping back. Remember, heels to the back of the mat. And lower down. Connect your intuition. And inhale, lift. Toes the other heels apart. Exhale, all the way down. Tuck the toes. Press all the way back. Downward facing dog. Deep stretch. Shin to the sternum. And inhale, walk step or jump to the front of the mat to half forward fold. Exhale, all the way down. Deep stretch. And inhale, nice and slow, all the way up. Reach it towards the stars, your highest potential. And exhale, close your eyes. So imagine yourself living in your element, seeing that progress of that next phase of your intention. Visualize it here. Remember, if you did have more than one intention, more than one goal, visualize both. See if they can somehow be interconnected. And exhale, eyes are closed as we move into, think chair posture here. We're bending our knees, bending our knees. Try to bend your knees all the way to the point where your fingertips brush the ground, okay? So thumbs are facing the front of the room. And slowly start to reach back behind you. So make sure you're safe. If you need to peek here, that's just fine. Okay, so we're lifting all of our self confidence here. I think it's kind of like we're doing a little crab, okay? We're doing like backwards table here as we lift up. Open through the heart. Start to relax the mind here. Give any overthinking a rest as we start to lower our hips, lower our bottom all the way down. And just slowly start to relate, release and kind of relax into Shavasana. So final resting position. Remember, guys, however you want to get comfortable here, if you need to adjust it all, the arms can be however you choose, out to a T, kind of feels nice for me tonight, whatever you want above the head, as long as the palms are facing up. Just allowing you to be open to the universe, allowing you to be open to signs. Just see if you can challenge yourself in today's class just to try not to overthink and just kind of allow the mind to wander a little bit here.
you can have, be, or do anything that you put your mind to, as long as you apply that consistent, repeated action and that self-discipline. So again, notice where you are today in your life, where you want to be. Notice the people that you surround yourself with. And notice what repeated action you can make. It'll probably take a lot of self-discipline, especially if it does not come naturally. And just start to apply baby steps. And remember, you guys, to reward yourself at some of the kind of kind of little pit stops is what I want to call it. Something you know along the way that's really important is to give ourselves that reward so that we keep on going. So definitely make sure that you, before you start to pursue a goal, that you do design it so that you can be super successful. And by having little rewards along the way, that's gonna be huge for you guys, especially if it's something you've been struggling with or a pattern that comes up for yourself a lot, okay? So as you slowly start to come back from your meditation, just start to wiggle the fingers, start to wiggle the toes as you guys are laying down. Start to stretch the arms up when you feel ready, point the toes, stretch the legs, Whatever feels good as you come back to your body. And then when you're ready, we're going to start to roll onto our right arm, onto our right side. And go ahead and place your left hand directly on your heart as we come full circle here with our gratitude. So this time you're going to give gratitude for your intention before it's arrived as though it's already in your reality. This is a key component to manifesting the life of our dreams. So you can say universe, God, higher self, again, fill in the blank. As always, I'm so happy and grateful for, and as you say it, visualize yourself a living that reality, achieving that reality. slowly press yourself up to comfortable seated position. Remember the left foot is in front. Take your time. The eyes are closed. And we're going to slowly bring our hands to heart center. Allow for that space between that hands. Allow for that creation, that manifesting power. So really keep that motivation. Remember what action, what simple action came to you. Deep, slow inhale, deep, slow exhale when you're ready. I am truly so happy and grateful. You could all be here to either tune in or to be in class and really connect to this space of any patterns that come up in your life and any simple repeated action. Those subtle changes that really add up and make a huge difference in our life. It tends to be those little kind of minor things that trip us up or we get in our own way. The divine in me recognizes the divine and light in each one of you. And where these lights meet, we say, Namaste. Namaste. that's really important, especially if you're new to yoga, that is very, very important to let yourself ease out. And um, just, I feel the need to remind you guys, remember those things that came to you, okay? Those small action items that you guys can do to repeat to make huge progress. 
And as always, you guys, make sure you're following me on Instagram at True Beauty Movement. You're subscribed to my YouTube channel as you will see kind of the progress and the different things that we connect on every day for daily posts. So I'd love to have you follow and have you feel inspired by the positive energy that we're creating in the world. So thank you so much for tuning in and for following. It means a lot to me. So until next time, namaste, you guys. Be balanced, be true, be proud of you. Bye, guys. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching today's true beauty quick tip. If you like what you see and for more confidence building tips on how to be a beauty from the inside out, remember to subscribe to our channel and connect with us at truebeautymovement.com. That's T-R-U without the E, beauty movement. Love you guys. Until next time, remember, be balanced, be true, and proud to be you.